name is Jan Mattes. I'm Chief Product Manager of SAP Business by Design and I'm now going to introduce to you the new Business by Design roadmap and shed light what is our high-level direction and also where we are coming from. So you need to be aware that um, all forward-looking statements are subject to change and basically if you look into the grim situation uh, that we currently have in many countries around the globe uh, in terms of COVID, uh, you might also understand that we might change every time our roadmap and also adjust our plans accordingly. In the past, we have been very good in delivering on our promises and we want to uh, continue that path. By design, therefore, also grew significantly, also despite COVID. Uh, you see the numbers of customers um, ever increasing significantly. Uh, that basically is attributed to uh, the push to the cloud. More and more businesses, SME businesses, but also partners uh, which want to go into the SME business recognize learning and using a business software like SAP Business by Design Cloud ERP is possible in times of physical distance. And you see this depicted here in the numbers. And if you look also how our existing customers grew in the last year, um, I think this is really remarkable. So um, if you look into uh, areas like our projects, our project management, uh, we have 50% more projects managed in the by design system. We have finally uh, hit the threshold of 1 billion finance documents. And these are all numbers coming from existing customers and those customers are growing also in difficult times. So, I can confirm by design is still the net new growth engine of SAP um, and it is the engine for the future Fortune 500. And um, this is not only the case for our user interface, so where our business users work with but, with, but also in terms of integration. Here are a couple of numbers for our SOAP and OData web services and you see the significant growth. Uh, that we have here. So by design is the digital core for businesses around the world. And uh, both technologies that we use for integrations are free to consume. It's the SOAP interfaces that we offer since a long time and also the custom OData interfaces that you can build, build with our custom workbench are tremendously growing. Um, what is our strategy and how do we want to develop in the future? You know that we've been coming from service-centric industries. That has been our sweet spot when we started in uh, 2007. But already there, we uh, invested a lot of time into supporting product-centric industries, companies which produce and ship boxes. And um, this is basically the area where we want to focus on. This is the area where we think we can grow the most, also in terms of reaching countries or a deeper um, penetration of countries which have more service-centric industries and companies. And uh, our way forward is to um, increase the flexibility in our production, uh, so um, agile and transparent production and manufacturing processes is what we invested significantly in the past releases and we will continue that in the next two years. You see this um, basically uh, already in 2102 when we announced the beta availability of our customer consignment process and uh, you will see us delivering this in 2105 and the next step afterwards will then be investment into landed cost and subcontracting. Second big pillar of our strategy is that we want to help customers but also our partners to quicker adopt industry packages and to deliver a quicker time to value for customers. We want to do this with so-called fast implementation templates, which allow you for your uh, industries to use predefined industry packages, which come from SAP, but to adapt those and to create your own flavors based on your own knowledge. That will be beneficial for partners because they can optimize their delivery and their consulting business significantly because they have all their best practices associated and brought into one copy of a template tenant and that is then basically then used as the master source for all future tenants that uh, you are going to deploy for your customers. And same is the case if you are growing your business, let's say if you are going into different markets and you want to use the same template for all of those markets, 
This will be beneficial for you as a customer as well. All of this is triggered and significantly influenced by customer influences. So we have that customer influence portal. It's very, very vital community. Here you propose and vote topics and we pick and handpick the topic and bring this into the roadmap uh, based on your voting. Some topics you see they are depicted in a new roadmap. So bear with me a couple of more, more minutes, you seal them. But others might not be there uh, visible, but still we might be working on this. So not everything that we are working on will be seen in that roadmap, but the most important things. Let me shed a bit of light on how we did this in the last year, in 2020. We basically delivered more than 1,600 votes and almost 90 customer influence requests. We want to continue that pass, the same target for 2021. And uh, we strongly will look by executing on our strategy for product-centric businesses that we also do not neglect the service-centric business. You see this also in our deliveries in 2102 and also in the new roadmap service-centric businesses stay our core. So give me let the chance to, to outline a couple of key highlights that we are investing in 2021. Customer consignment is the first one. You might ask, why is that taking so much time? It's a super large process. It basically goes through all process components that we have in business by design, starting from that you need to be able to migrate your consignment um, stock, you evaluate your consignment stock, uh, that you need to have stock adjustments and also need to be able to sell uh, consignment materials and also to um, issue those uh, consignment materials. And later on, it might also happen that customers might return those consignment stock. So it's really an end-to-end -end process, which is not only logistics or just not only sales, it's really logistics, sales, and of course, also financials. We have counted more than 100 votes for that and even more if you it would include also supplier consignment which is currently not our focus but we can promise you the customer consignment is very close and um, we keep our promise that we given you in the last year uh, by delivering that very very soon a highlight which is very close to my heart is the microsoft teams integration collaboration in sales project and also using analytics coming from business by design is a key advantage. Um, people come together, not only in times of COVID and virtual meetings, they share, they do video conferences, they post, they chat. And all of this um, happens in environments like Microsoft Teams and Teams is really um, a tremendous tool and it's growing tremendously. And by design is basically complementing that. The core of the data is coming from by design. You chat and you communicate and you share information like such a pipeline analysis or such a dashboard in Microsoft Teams. You create screenshots, do annotations and paste them. And also you assign tasks using Teams to people. And um, this is basically very, very powerful and will soon be also available for you to download in our app store. Mobility is also close to my heart and one thing which I'm very proud of is our uh, mobile time recording and the mobile manager approvals app which have been standalone for a long time and now those apps are integrated into our central by design mobile app and um, you can do now also do your time recording here also access data coming from your calendars and then copy the data from that calendar into your time recording that's extremely convenient. And uh, with our newest release, you will also be able to see batch counters. So the numbers of open approvals in a tile, you will see a notification in your lock screen uh, if a new approval comes in. And uh, you will see this also as a batch counter on the icon in your mobile launchpad. Intelligent expense report scanning was announced in 2102 and it's uh, beta since then. And it's very close that we will publicly make this general available to all of our customers. It's um, again, bringing some things together that we uh, value a lot, mobility, flexibility, and intelligent enterprise. And that's worth just one example of the intelligent enterprise scenarios that we are investing in. And you will see more also in our future roadmap. And finally, um, integration is core, as I mentioned in the start. One of the topics that I will uh, 
was wishing for a really long time and we have many customers asking for it is basically being able to automatically push information out as someone is creating a, a new sales order is updating a sales order or is updating let's say a certain object in business by design you want to be notified and your system shall automatically be notified and this is now possible with that event-based integration capabilities you can monitor the events that happen you assign it to your target system and uh, Excel is just one example where you can consume such data feeds of changes. May it be a new creation of an object or might it be an update of an object? Mm -hmm. This is basically making your integration even more powerful. And also, uh, I want to mention that in the future, it will also be possible to consume the data of our KPIs, which are very powerful, using an OData interface. So now let's have a look into the new roadmap. Um, the structure is pretty much the same as in the past. The direction is the same. Um, first of all, let's have a look on the business scenarios and let me highlight um, the investments we have in service-centric and product-centric industries. So you see customer consignment is close to be delivered, general available, but there will be feedback from you. And that's why we also plan for that. You see this also depicted here. The next big thing um, will be the investment in landed cost and the start into that will be a, an investment into enhancing the basic purchase price flexibility, which will allow our customers which purchase products, let's say in Asia, to also consider additional cost like freight, like uh, customs or insurance um, and to plan that more flexibly and at the end of the day also compare it with your actual costing and uh, depicted in your actual costing. And then a question which is with us since a longer time, when will we go for subcontracting? We will go for subcontracting, that's our plan. It will come after the landed cost. So um, we are uh, fortunate and we think that already in parallel at the end of 2008, uh, 2208 release, we might be having the first foundation for a subcontracting. Be aware, uh, subcontracting will be a longer journey. It will spend at least three or four releases. So uh, you cannot expect that by 2208, subcontracting will be perfect, but first steps might be there. Let's have a look now into the service-centric industries. Um, we've been investing a lot in automation of uh, service confirmation and the time recording, uh, which is linked to that. And uh, this is also now uh, coming to a final state where we think it's um, significant and, and good enough for you to use. And the next big thing will then that we will invest into resource management and also skills management for our service order, order to cash process. So you will be more um, powerful in assigning resources to your service orders. You will be more powerful to identify people by their skills uh, when uh, executing service orders. And um, that might be a very important step forward for any standardized business in the world. Let's have now a look into cross scenarios and uh, cross capabilities. I mentioned already the um, Microsoft Teams integration. We also think about a new Outlook plugin, which might be uh, introduced soon, and also bringing our Microsoft Excel plugin into the web browser is something that we want to support in the future. And uh, this is um, basically rounding our, um, up our investment that we do around the Microsoft Office integration. Intelligent Enterprise, you've seen lots of beneficial things. We made the Intelligent Enterprise affordable to mid-market companies uh, with the uh, supplier invoice scanning and also with the mobile expense report scanning. But there will be more. We will be investing in IRPA and robotic process automation, uh, which will help you to automatically extract data coming from emails and to create objects out of that. Um, attaching, let's say, documents for the proof of delivery will be a topic. And we will also uh, think about um, delivering predefined scoring predictive analytics scenarios like lead scoring, for instance, and those will not be 100% um, out of the box. We will just deliver them as a sample to you that you can extend and adapt it to your needs and also decide to use it for different kinds of scenarios. So we will provide you a workbench that you can go the last mile and do your adaptations there. 
So that's basically it. Um, uh, one thing I want to mention, that's the fast implementation templates. I highlighted that already as the second big pillar of our, of our investment. We want to allow you to define golden templates for your business, for your industry, and to use them to quicker um, adopt your new customers or your new countries. So it will be beneficial not only for partners with their consulting business and uh, bringing all their learnings into one golden tenant, but also for our customers which want to uh, scale into new markets uh, quickly. I hope you understand and uh, are with me with the, with the statement that by design is the cloud ERP solution for any quickly growing enterprise in the cloud. And it's the system which easily answers how can I set up and run uh, my business in times of physical distance by design can do that. And we've proven it in the last 12 months. Uh, we also uh, prove that by design is the digital core for your business. Might it be because you execute all of your processes in by design or you use it just as the central uh, digital core for it. And finally, by design is a sustainable solution. Uh, by design runs in a data center, which is carbon neutral since 2014. And SAP as a company aims to be carbon neutral by 2023. And we also take care about sharing of resources. So all of our systems basically are used by multiple customers. And if you don't buy an exclusive system, then you share with a significant amount of other customers your resources. And we take care that nobody is coming short here. So this is one of the values of our operations, which you um, never recognize, but which is basically making our solution highly sustainable. I hope you like what you've seen and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.